Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Evolution Show. Today we're going to be talking about gifts from the heart. So um, Christmas is just about to happen as this video is being published. And um, yeah, you, you might still be looking for a very special gift for a loved one and you want to give them something that shows that you care and that you hold them in your heart. Well, I have a gift today that I want to show you that will literally show them that uh, you are in their heart. Uh, so I have some actual anatomical hearts to show you today. Um, so it is not too late to come pick up this item in store. Uh, we are still open and we will be until December 24th. We're not open on the 25th, but you can still visit us on the 24th. Um, so you can pick up gifts in store still. It might be by the time you see this a little too late to order online for web orders. Might be cutting it a little tight for that, but you can still visit us in store in person if you're in New York City. That having been said, if you really screwed the pooch and you and you missed all the deadlines, um, you can get a gift certificate. So you can uh, go onto our website and search for gift certificates and you can get a gift certificate that will be um, delivered to the person instantly. So that is always an option. So the heartfelt gift that I want to show you today is the very popular Comparative Hearts in Resin. So you may be familiar with our resin collection. We have a lot of insects in resin. Um, that's probably one of our most popular lines of products. But we also have these really interesting comparison series where we have um, hearts from different animals. We also have brains down here. You can uh, see those as well. But today I'm gonna be talking to you about our comparison hearts set. So this is a set of five different real animal hearts that have been preserved in resin. The first is a fish heart um, from a carp specifically. Uh, Carasius auratus. It's really a type of goldfish. Um, the second is from an amphibian, a frog, Bufo Bufo gargarizans. And the third is from a reptile, a snake, and Hydrus chinensis. The fourth is from a bird, a pigeon, Paris major. And the final heart is from a mammal, a rabbit, which is a lepus species. Um, all of these animals are from China, um, but obviously these are really common animals that exist pretty much the world over. Um, and as I said, you get five different types of animals, fish, amphibian, reptile, bird, and mammal. And as you can see, the structure of the heart changes really significantly depending on what type of animal you're talking about. It's really, really interesting to see. So heart obviously is the um, central organ in the circulatory systems of all vertebrate species. So all vertebrates have hearts that perform pretty much the same function as far as circulating blood, but they do it obviously in very different ways. Um, hearts are different from other organs in that their cell structure is really unique. They perform such an important function that they're really highly specialized organs. Um, so yeah, you can see it has all these different branches. It's very complex. It's interesting because you would think the mammal heart would be most similar to our own, but personally I kind of feel like the bird heart almost looks more like what I would think a human heart looks like. Maybe it's just because I'm not, you know, I'm not looking at it the right way, but I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Definitely a conversation piece, definitely a really interesting comparison. If you're giving a gift to someone who's interested in science or biology or zoology, or you just wanna let them know that you hold them in your heart, in your five hearts. Um, Throughout human history, across cultures, the heart has variously been regarded as the seat of the soul, life, reason, thought, and emotion. So there is nothing more special than the heart. 
thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday. If you've been enjoying these videos, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on social media. We're on Instagram at The Evolution Store and Facebook as well. We're at The Evolution NYC on Twitter, and we're also on TikTok at The Evolution Store. So follow us there as well. So this is the part where I read your comments. We had a lot of comments on TikTok uh, recently on a video that we had made about a leaf insect. Um, people were really fascinated by the fact that this leaf insect can actually um, reproduce using what's called parthenogenesis. They don't need a mate. Um, and so most of the leaf insects that you see are actually all females. Males are extremely rare because they don't really need them. The females just reproduce by themselves and they create more females. So it's a really interesting, um, really interesting insect. And we got a lot of really fascinated comments uh, from people on TikTok. We got comments from Billy Eyelash, uh, Mean Mitch, Regina, um, Ginger Snaps 04, Mitch Sona. Lots of people were just like, what is happening? That is so cool. That is so weird. Um, also gave me an opportunity to clarify that parthenogenesis actually means virgin birth, which that's interesting, um, right? And it comes from the Greek partheno and genesis. Genesis means birth and partheno means virgin. So just kind of interesting. Um, also in the conversation was moody taint, which people, you know, when you're naming yourselves on TikTok, be, be mindful of the old old farts like me who have to read your names out loud, <laughs> be considerate of us, um, who commented walking leaf on ACNH. And I had to Google that ACNH, oh, Animal Crossing, New Horizons. So my son does play that. And um, yeah, he's always capturing bugs on that as well. Um, Raw Exotic Pets had an interesting question. They asked, so what's the difference between a male and a female? Is it significant enough to notice right away since males and females are so um, so males are so rare, how would you know if you found one, if you saw one? And in fact, they actually look pretty similar. It's just that the males are much smaller than the females. So they look, if you see like a really, really small leaf insect, it might be a male compared to a female, which is significantly larger. So thanks for all the comments, everybody. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed that video. It's a fascinating species and yeah, open to, uh, open to more questions if you have them. Our next comment is also from TikTok. It's from It's Sophio O. Um, and they commented on a video we had made regarding a petrified wood stool that we had just sold. Um, so this is a piece of petrified wood that is basically like a little trunk of a tree, like a little stump. Um, and you could use it for like a coffee table or a stool or something like that. And they had asked how much it was. It was $8.95, um, $8.95. And I wanted to mention it because we actually have two more petrified wood stools that are gonna be coming into the store soon. And if that was a piece that you were interested in and that you're sorry that you missed out on, um, never fear, we have a few more coming in. So definitely send us a message, contact us either on social media or through email we're at info at the evolution store.com and you can let us know that you're interested and we can send you pictures and prices and you can see if it's something that you want to pick up and finally our last comment today is from Instagram um, so we had posted a picture of a uh, uh, a hoodie of ours that we sold um, so our hoodie has our skull logo on it and we had mentioned that this skull logo comes from a uh, was drawn by a gentleman named Jan Wandelaar who was an artist and he drew it for an anatomist uh, a Dutch anatomist Bernhard Siegfried Albinus back in like you know the 18th century or something like that um, so back then obviously anatomical study was done not with photographs or anything like that, but with hand-drawn sketches. And so that's where our skull logo comes from. And this comment is from J.M. LaRoche Sculptor. And he says, one of the best skull design for me. Interesting to know where it comes from. I have some t-shirt from you also with the bat. I should order more. And so yes, uh, there was a time when we had more than one type of t-shirt. Uh, or, or hoodie, one, more than one type of logo. We had several different illustrations. Uh, we had a bat, we had, um, I think we might've had some insects, um, but yeah, we, we ended up paring that down and so now we only have the skull logo. But, uh, so if you have from, you know, 10, 20 years ago, a t-shirt 
with uh, something with our name on it that's not a skull. That is a vintage piece and should be held onto because it is really precious. All right, thanks everyone. Happy holidays, stay safe. Talk to you next time, bye.